So we were first. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Forget about the money. Look! It's the first time I ever saw a boat this size. And you thought I'd never do it. How long are you going to stay over there? That's the fantastic thing. I don't know. You know, I almost feel like I... I should do something symbolic, like just... just throw my watch overboard, you know? But it's a... I just got it, you know? Nice watch. Oh, thank you. Maybe you have something else symbolic on you. Maybe I do. Of course, what, what could be better than throwing away all the keys to those locked doors? The car? The office? Of course. My house. One key? Well, I'm new at this. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, you, you told me that already. Oh, did I tell you I'd like to punch you in the mouth for having all the breaks? Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a little worried about you, the, the job thing and all. I got an offer to produce these industrial shows for conventions. That's pretty good, huh? Gee, industrial shows? Yeah, I, th I think... Uh, I think it's a garbage job, Harry. Will you please lie? But you, you, you'd be better off working for me. I mean, all the zipper money coming in, we, we could have some fun. We could... You could invest in things. I mean, why, why not? Because of the obvious. Because of this incredibly obvious thing that you're only offering a job to me because we're friends. But why is that a bad reason? I don't know. It's just a rule. You don't, you just don't work for friends. Everybody knows that, Marvin. Look, Harry, I'm offering you a job. I, I think you want to take it, but I, I'm not going to argue with you forever. Now, now, what is it? Yes or no? Do you really need me at your place? No. Why won't you ever lie to me? Because, because I don't need you. I mean, I, I want you to work for me. I, I can sure use you. But I don't need you. I mean, why can't you see I'll take the job. I'll take the job. Now, shut up. This isn't going to work. Am I working for you? Well, why not? Because I'm embarrassed to ask you what my salary is. Now, do you... Oh, I forgot to tell Lynn I'd be late. The police said if he were dead, they'd know. Yeah, but what about if he's just hurt? What then? Well, somebody would find him. Oh, sure, this is New York. People are always having heart attacks and then getting stepped over because other people think they're drunks. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Hello? 
Oh, hello, Mrs. Reynolds. What are you doing there? Oh. No, you don't have to call Lynn. Would you just... Mary? I'm going to be a little late, honey. A little late? Harry, it's Friday. Oh, well, after the game, Marvin uh, decided to get a divorce and go to Europe. So I figured. No. No, sweetheart. I called all those people. I, I know that there is no more game and that there hasn't been for months. Honey, I got a job. Marvin finally talked me in. Harry, what have you been doing on Thursdays for the last three months? Oh, the old game broke up. That was the old game, but there's a new game. Mm -hmm. Who's in it? Oh, me, Marvin, Blum. You know uh, what I thought of when I first found out? I thought of that time after David's camp. And I asked you to stay home so we could love each other. And you said you had to play poker. Lynn, this is really crazy nuts. I mean, I really haven't been doing anything wrong. Why do I have to be afraid of taking one night a week for myself? You can take them all for yourself, Harry. Seven nights a week. It was so incredibly predictable that you would say exactly that. Yeah, well, everything about us is becoming predictable. Our unhappiness is predictable. Honey, take it easy. I'll be home in a little while. No, no, I don't want to be pacified anymore, Harry. I don't want to, I don't want to talk it over. I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to put it or us through the ringer anymore. I don't want to be nice about it. I don't want to be ugly about it. I, don't, I, I just want to let go. Something's wrong. <laughs> where, 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 where are you going? I'm not sure. Why? Well, you could, you could come along with me. You'd go home and get your passport. Get back in time to sail for Europe. And we could spend a month or so having wonderfully shallow relationships with 20-year-old girls. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I can't get over it. What? That we could really do that. I mean, that I have a choice. So? So, in a couple hours, we could be on board, checking out the women. I mean, we could really be doing that, actually be on our way. Right. Because you're going. I mean, you really are going. And I could go with you. I don't feel I have to, so I must want to. Hey, have a hell of a time. You too. Isn't it incredible that this is... this is being happily married? See ya. Harry. Take care of yourself.
David in the car with me. I make him wear his shoulder harness. Here. Everything's okay. No kidding. Mom says I'll see you all the time. Of course you will, because you're not going anywhere. Nobody's leaving. Nobody ever has, and nobody ever will. But we did leave once. It's just you were asleep and didn't know. David, come on. I'll see you all the time. What do you mean I was asleep and didn't know? Harry, marriage is give and take. Thank you. Well, your mother just cleared up the whole thing. She said marriage is give and take. How do I make this all stop? I don't think you can. Yes, I can. Somewhere there's a perfect thing I can say that'll make you change your mind. I love you. Please don't go. I need you. You need me. What about David? I'll change. You'll change. We'll both change. I don't want you to change. I want you just the way you are. Everything's gonna be all right. I'll go crazy. Right. Well, we don't have to settle anything right now because I'm pretty sure you'll be back. This isn't going to work. I'm not being together. We've got to try. The grabbing, the grinding, the nerve. 